under control or what we're going to do about the 23 million Americans. And instead, they want to know if he's going to meet with Mitt Romney, Tara. Well, Megan, I agree with you. The question about whether or not he's going to meet with Mitt Romney, I thought, was uh, really a waste of a question. It's a waste. That's yeah, the thing. I, thought, I do the agree. End it of was the a waste of a question. If you have 20, <laughs> go for it. But Are you, you only gonna, have eight. Exactly. You're going to meet with Mitt Romney. I think I think we all agree on all sides that that was definitely a waste of a question. I do um, want to uh, push back on this whole thing that pre they're softballing President Obama. I think the media has always been distracted by shiny objects. If you look at the coverage of this Petraeus uh, scandal, so much time is being devoted to this Petraeus scandal when we have so many other issues to deal with and the way it's being portrayed is like catnip or crack cocaine to the media. So my issue with many in the media is more about the focus on if anything salacious or sexual in nature, I think they run for it. And I think that's the real issue. I mean, immigration is part of our econ economy. Fixing that issue will help fix our economy. So I think that's fair game. Number, but two, Petraeus, number two question at the presser. Is that the number two most important issue on the minds of the American well, people? Well, it today? came from Telemundo and their 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 but, readership and their listenership and their viewership of all of their different outlets is, is a heavily uh, Latino uh, leadership viewership. You should also and care so about they're concerned the about that. But it's part of immigration ahead, is tied Carol. to our economy. Yeah. That's why the business community wants to see immigration reform. I, I know, but we've got a fiscal cliff facing us and we've got sixteen trillion dollars in debt, something that is immediately in front of us, the number one priority. And the fact of the matter is it hasn't been addressed as the top priority in the last administration with this current Congress that's been here. And now that should have been the first question and that should have been the majority of the question. should have been the follow-ups. But, uh, but, Compare this to oh, the Romney. Oh, forget the follow-ups. Compare would, this to the Romney press conference where seven questions on the tone. I mean, look, every politician, I've been on both sides, was in the White House watching the, the, the press from that side and been on the other side. Everyone has the answer to the first question. It's when you drill down deeper yeah. and ask them, the no one does it. But I want to ask you as somebody who worked for President right. George W. Bush. Did he get it worse than this? Yeah, did he I mean, have a, I, did he I, have I, a when press say the real say, Look, the difference is the drumbeat. It's not just, people have asked, as you say, they asked President Obama about Benghazi. President Bush would have been pursued everywhere and his staff pursued. We have, we have people, we have, we have the don't Secretary of State. No. We have the Secretary of State saying, I take responsibility and takes off. And that's okay. Yeah. But don't you think it's the fault of the American people? Don't you think that we're accepting mediocrity and that the buck no. stops with us? And that if we no. have people who are I don't. I think Americans are out there taking care of yeah. their kids. And they can't. They, they have so many responsibilities all that already. They can't worry about job. us. Don't you think that they should be jumping up and down? And when we're talking about this, the sex scandal, saying no, I want to hear about what actually happened in Benghazi. When they're talking about the high fluff, that they say no, we want to focus I on know, the but what can they do? They, We've I mean, got they, social media. We have all the tools to be able. What to can be they do? Out they don't there. have access to the people. People with the we, with the have, answers and and Tara, I mean, you you you're shaking your head. No, you think that President Bush got a pass from the press? I think President Bush got a pass on the Iraq War. I mean, we invaded a country, thousands of people died, and we found out the intelligence was faulty. And John McCain, who's now beating, speaking of drum beats, beating a drum beat about President Obama, was one of the first ones to come out and defend uh, at the time uh, Condoleezza Rice and say, hey, she got faulty intelligence. So there's definitely a double standard. I'm not saying the press has been perfect because again. I have a problem with all this catnip uh, focus on on sex and salaciousness. So I think we agree on that. We got a 9/11 commission under George Bush that he didn't want. We're not going to get the select committee that John McCain and Lindsey Graham want. I got to leave it Very at that. Very different standard. Thank you all so much. Kelly Scord is next.